More than a week on from the deadly attack in Palmer, survivors continue to stream into the town of Pemba. This hall is sheltering some of those who have been displaced. The United Nations says it has recorded more than 9,000 people so far. Many were separated from their loved ones during the chaos. This woman left behind her husband and daughter as she fled for her life after hearing machine guns. When I perceived that my life was in peril, I had to flee to the mountains to be safe, to defend my health and my life. I was hidden from the fourth Friday, on the 23rd. I didn't feel good because I was disappointed. I came from my home, from where I lived, from where I lived, from here. Dozens were killed in Parma as hundreds of militants linked to the Islamic State group targeted shops, banks and military barracks on the 24th of March. On Friday, French energy giant Total shut its operations and withdrew staff from a site in Afungi, 10 kilometres away. It's understood the decision was made after drone surveillance showed that insurgents were very close to the gas plant. Meanwhile, the World Food Programme has temporarily suspended evacuation flights from Parma due to a deterioration in the security situation. A spokesperson said flights for humanitarian workers and food would continue. The situation in Parma remains volatile as a heavy military presence continues to secure the area. Insurgents attacked two security posts south of the town on Thursday.